Hi ladies, this is Mesa with kinsmade.etsy.com and I just wanted to talk to you for a minute about cleaning your limited edition nail art stamping plates because they are in acrylic. Um, that is one thing that a lot of people have a very common question um, about how to care for your nail art stamping plates. <clears throat> you do want to Sorry, that's just my dispenser bottle, but what I have in there is just, this is Dollar Tree stuff. You want to make sure that it is 100% acetone that you're using to clean these. You also want to make sure that you have not um, contaminated it with any of your um, additives. Um, a lot of them are adding emollients and additives to strengthen your nail or to condition your nail. And you don't really want to do any of that. Let's see, this is my little Dollar Tree version of the cotton claw to save your manicure. <clears throat> Just use this pump style dispenser, clean it up. In between impressions, you are going to want to keep your plate extremely clean. Um, I've noticed that I have trouble picking up if there's any um, residual polish left on the plate itself, even between impressions. To me, it seems like I can be messier with my metal plates, <clears throat> with metal plates that are also available commercially, um, but I'm not sure. It may just be the white finish that makes it show up so much, um, but it does seem to interfere more, and I, I'm not sure if that's a perception or if that's an actual molecular kind of reason. If I were to want to pick up this design or even this design when I'm scraping across, if I was scraping across this direction, this little bit, even though it seems like a small amount, might actually interfere with my pickup, with my scrape and my pickup, both. And so in between impressions, you want to make sure that your plates are very clean. Um, again, the reason why you want to use 100% acetone is because um, those oils and emollients will, you know, interfere with the way your polish is laying down on your plate. So when you wash it with the acetone, it's completely clean and any excess just evaporates off. Um, one cautionary note is that you do not want to let this material soak in acetone. If you had it inside of a bin or something in storage and some of this were to spill in there, puddle or pool around it, it would dissolve this material because it is some type of plastic. I don't quite understand the science of that, but um, go ahead and use your 100% acetone. It's going to be much, much easier to clean these than with regular fingernail polish. Um, and, you're, and it's not going to dissolve them as long as you just use the amount that's on your cotton ball and let it immediately air dry.